thousands of gallons of crude oil are oozing into the Louisiana Make no coastal. mistake. We will do whatever's necessary. Quite an effect. This is a crisis. Yes, I'm just a commercial fisherman. Nope. My whole Gulf life Coast. is based on this. Have we brought in the best and the brightest of all the minds that could deal with this? We're the oil shaver team from Western Norway. We are four people that work full time on on this, and that's enough. Uh, really, uh, it's more than enough. <laughs> because even four people can uh, can have a fight. An old guy who's on pension, uh, an old lady that didn't know nothing about this before she just jumped into it, and uh, two guys that know trolling. I think maybe that's our advantage, that we sort of didn't know anything about collecting oil before we started. A governmental organization called Innovation Norway has been giving us grants. So, so far we have been fairly okay funded. Our technology uh, is based on the standard oil boom technology, but we apply it in a different way. It's a shaving device, it shaves uh, the oil off the surface. If we use a higher speed, and that way we will slip the oil underneath the leading boom and take it in through slits and then lead it uh, between two booms back to an oil well where we uh, suck it out with a fish pump. It's self-spreading. The boom is held in place by a system of ropes that are stretched towards the bow of the towing vessel. So it's a rugged, stable, consistent technology, simple. We make the pontoons ourselves, glue them from fabric that we buy from a company in France. I'm the maker of the unit of the, all the, the rubber stuff and the web stuff, more or less by myself, I think. Neither of us had any training in doing the rubber stuff. We looked at a movie on the internet and um, following instruction on the boxes and well there is always the test you put air on it if it's not leaking you did a good job I started out as a fisherman and I went into marine science and I've been spending most of my adult life in marine science have a PhD in marine science the good thing about retirement is that I can do whatever I like uh, and uh, I certainly don't want to sit down in my rocking chair and rock. I mean, that will keep you occupied, but it won't move you an inch. After Ingvar gives a thumbs up, Hermiola is going to confirm that the pump is going by going like this. Okay. Ingvar is going to say to Peter, start the bridges. Dave's going to tell you when he's at two knots, and then you're going to tell Peter when we want to start collecting. OK, so we good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we have the numbers now. The good part is that uh, there is hardly any water in, uh, in what we get. The bad part is that we are still below the limit uh, of 2,500 gallons per minute. Probably we have to increase pump speed and go with a higher speed. We'll go with three knots and the no waves. No waves, three knots. Okay. Three knots the of maximum on. rev is going to be the only way we can okay. pass the limit. So you need to adjust your rev on your HPU? Ingvar is some very, very knowledgeable guy. His head should be maybe ten times bigger because he's got so much knowledge. I used to think I was very bright, but I'm not very bright. I'm, I'm average, but I have a, a capacity to concentrate over long periods of time on a specific problem until I find a solution. Normally a good one. <laughs> well, much more. Much more. This, 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 
This, this, this that helps. 200 revs help a lot, they say. Okay, good. <laughs> I think we're in contention. I'm really pleased. Mm. I, I, I'm way about what I expected. It's just for fun, really. When you're 66, uh, you, you, you've chased all the girls that you could ever chase. You bought the stuff that you want to buy. You've done all these things. You've been there, you've done it. And now it's just... It's just fun that it's, it's an incentive. That's it for your runs for today. Do you need to do anything else tonight? I mean, it's raining. So. Have a beer? Beer? Yeah. Is that on the agenda? <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> but I, if you can repeat what we did today, more or less, uh, I think we, we will not be on the bottom sheet. We'll be on the list proper. Which is all we strive for, really. I mean, winning, well, that would be nice, but... I mean, it's not about the money. A million dollars. I mean, I live in Norway, and this money will go to the tax people anyway, so it doesn't matter. Apart from that, when you started out something, you want to finish it. Being here has, uh, in many ways, reignited the original passion of all of this. I'm probably more motivated now than I ever was during the two and a half years we've been working on this thing. This is going to revolutionize all of oil collection. The older I get, the more and more I see that individuals can make a big difference. Mm -hmm.